Hey guys, Ivan Mike kind of inspired me to do a video series on how to play one of my favorite role-playing games. Um, he did one on OSR games, kind of, I think he paid particular attention to um, Flame, Princess, whatever, whatever the name of that game is, um, when being specific. Uh, but in general, he was talking about OSR games. But I thought that would be interesting and, uh, and I saw someone else start to do something like this as well. So I thought I would address uh, Rollmaster. I think that's probably only one, the only system I really have the authority to talk about. Um, I don't have the experience with a lot of other systems to even address them. So for this first video I just want to kind of talk about Rollmaster as a family and then in the next video, which I'll probably record right after this, I want to uh, talk about some other, get, start getting into things. So, Rollmaster as a family, it was, it's owned by ICE, Iron Crown Enterprises. Um, oh, and huge disclaimer, disclaimer, just keep this flashing in your head. I do not know every single one of these things things that I'm going to say to be absolute fact, okay? But in general, this is the story. Uh, so guys were playing Dungeons and Dragons and they thought, hey, wouldn't it be interesting to have critical tables? And they wrote up some critical tables and then, hey, wouldn't it be interesting to have more realistic weapon damage? for armor to buy armor type. Okay, so then they created tables for that and then they created spells and before long they just said let's make a whole system. In general, that's the story. So Romash is actually a really old old system even though there are so many people who have never heard of it. It's gone through several changes unlike other systems they don't talk about it in in with addition numbers. Um Iron Crown Enterprises was, as it's in its original form, was sunk by Tolkien. Um, they owed a lot of money, and Tolkien were the only people, not Tolkien himself, obviously, he's been dead for well before that, but his uh, estate holdings were this, the apparently the only debtor that would not be okay with the arranged plans, even though they were, were actually making their payments. Um, so there's been lots of licensing problems, and I think that's partly why you see so many, um, so many new systems from ICE, even though it's a really small company, um, because their authors and rights keep changing. So anyways, they, they printed the first Rollmaster set of books, and I think they printed then another set that was a second printing not a second edition though they did make some changes um not wasn't some big wholesale thing that they made uh you know Rollmaster second edition after that they published several several um expansion material kind of books i forget the name they're not source books um i, I forget what the what the name for that kind of publication is um, but it just, it just included lots of other optional rules and fan-made material. Um, didn't go through necessarily a lot of playtesting, but there's tons of that. Now, what you will commonly hear is people who play with the second printing and some or all of the expansion books that they put out afterwards, in particular, the second one, Rollmaster Companion 2, they will say, I play RM2, Rollmaster 2. It's not actually 2, but that's what all of the fans understand this to mean. Um, later came, I believe, um, RMSS, I believe, Rollmaster Standard System, which changed some ideas. Um, you still, you, that was, that really was like a second edition. Like you felt like you were playing a game, the same kind of game, but it had some, some interesting changes that you definitely felt. Uh, and then I think there was another quick 
uh, company changing in there, like who was behind the helm, and they made Rollmaster Fantasy Role Playing System, which was very similar to RMSS. And then they made there was I think there was probably another change or maybe not, but they made Rollmaster Classic, which was very much like Rollmaster Two, to um, cleaned up, organized, play tested fix some other problems. Um, somewhere in there they came out with RMX, which was basically like, hey, here's four sheets of paper to introduce you to the game. You know, some really basic classics, some really basic weapons, here's some ideas. This is what the game is like. And then they actually had uh, expansions, if you will, of, of RMX. So it was all in like these tiny little two to four page chunks that you could get um, but they don't I don't think anybody I don't think they support that anymore they're currently developing another role master system which as I understand they're just going to call role master um, that's what I heard the, the plan is um, in development it's going under role master unified but role master is almost always printed well as far as I know it's always printed in multiple books it's one of these multiple book kinds of systems where so like this one has a lot of stuff for building your characters, your skills, and some GM stuff. This one is where you will find all the weapon tables and the critical um, the critical tables. Uh, also included in this would be all the attacks for from creatures. And then your spells and even some of your oh, my corners belt bent. <clears throat> your spells and the, the any attack tables or critical tables from, from spell effects are in here. And this book would also cover how to create magic items and things like that. They're all published like that. <clears throat> and then they'll have another book or two uh, that have to do with... Um, actually, let me just grab it. Let me just grab it. Uh, da, 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 da. I, didn't, I didn't grab this one ahead of time. Uh, the Creatures and Treasures. So this has mostly animal stats. But then it also has some things, you know, like here's some modest magic items and some potent magic items and some you know historic magic items or whatever <clears throat> so uh role master is also always uh, generic so it doesn't come with a setting you have to either make your own setting or rip off another setting they do have some setting material that the, the company produces a shadow land or shadow world or something like that and then another couple um, but those are not necessarily tied into these books. Um, the biggest influence that I've seen in these books uh, is, is Tolkien's work. Um, because they also had Middle Earth role playing, which was basically role master light. Um, so you, think, you see things like uh, in the description of trolls in Creatures and Treasures, you'll see, oh, when they get hit by sunlight, they turn to stone. Anyone who comes from a D and D camp is going to be totally thrown off by that, and I ignored that right off the bat because I because people are not going to be expecting that. So um, I think that's all I want to do for this video. It's probably already gone too long, um, but uh, I will be talking about it more in a minute.